And then we had this happening. Oh, In Mega Man 8. So the most amazing voice acting ever in any video game. But Bass! What am I fighting for? Yeah, it was Bass. I must be fighting. We are not enemies. Anime cutscenes. I wish I made a real, a real anime like that. It's only got Keith in the balls. Of course, he's a robot, so. I love the balls go slightly deeper than Mega Man's. Again, elevator cord. I think you can break it. Don't run away, coward. You'll pay for this insult. What is trouble standing on? Like, they're in a robot. What is the problem? No. <laughs> Why is it called a It's yeah. Sounds like it should be Mega Boy, not even that. Not even that. Oh, no. <laughs> Granted, the voice acting is terrible, the animation is pretty nice, the opening, at least the Japanese version, American version is fine, but Japanese version has a better song to it. Opening is pretty awesome. That's cool. Super Adventure Rock is terrible. Which I actually forgot to include that. So, Mega Man 8's intro is kind of cool because it sort of pays homage to pretty much the previous classic series games before it. Even though it has pretty much nothing to do with Mega Man 8. Although Pharaoh Man and Charge Man did not show up in the same game. Yeah, Charge Man is a. Feral Man's four, Charge Man's five. Yeah, four or five. Why can't we see if I subtract? Yeah, I don't want to do that Mega Man boss photo bomb. <laughs> awesome. Seven and eight are kind of curious at the inclusion of bass or bass because some people believe he might be a prototype of zero. Um, like why they tend to make the strong the strongest robots. Sort of never been confirmed, but is a big maybe. Although it is confirmed that Wiley is working on Zero in one of the arcade games, I think it's Power, Battle Power Battles 2? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Power Battles. So then, of course, 100 years later, after 20XX, we have 21XX, right? Totally. Yeah. And then. So we just start off here in Mega Man X. We expect to come to a boss intro, except we're thrown right in here, right? I thought it would be interesting, interesting to mention that when this came out, people were confused and thought it meant 10. What? When, uh, it was, when this game came out, came out on the Super NES, people thought it meant 10, and they were wondering what was going on. <laughs> yeah, well, it's just curious, because 7, 8, and 9 hadn't come out by that point. 9 especially would have been much, much later. <laughs> yeah. But then when X2 came out, people were like, wait, X2, is this 12? What? <laughs> now, of course we're not going to watch it here, A, because this is a G-rated panel, and B, because, um... Hot. 
because of time, it's 20 minutes long. The Ego Raptor has a very, very, very fascinating video on how this game, without even having to reference a manual, teaches players how to play it. Yep. Um, it's a sequel that is Mega Man vs. Mega Man X video, and I suggest everyone watch it because it's fascinating and it really, it really shows um, how people learn stuff, basically. In fact, if you're a teacher, like I am, I especially suggest you watch it. But we eventually end up here. Who the hell is this guy? The G Radio winner now. So suddenly Boba Fett is attacking us. <laughs> Wiley seemed uh, 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 must have put a bounty on Mega Man's head, and now he's, of course, in this case, Sigma, and he's trying to hum down. <laughs> and how worthless do you feel right now? How worthless do you feel? Do you need a hug, X? What's that? What's that? What? Hey. Who is she? <laughs> <laughs> This lady is kicking some serious ass. Yeah, of course, zero. zero. Basic gist is, look, X, you're not sure I'm gonna be to beat him, but someday you will be. Oh and you know what? You will be. Do it. <laughs> so the X series, yeah, original Mega Man X. X2. Oh. Got all those. Honestly, soundtrack is like the most amazing thing ever. This is like the power metal among power metal on an SNES thing. Yeah. That's boring. Disappointing in, in comparison. <laughs> it's still a good game, but the soundtrack is just lacking. But it does assure you can. It does assure you can. This one has the Hadouken. Do you have X3? Three. Three. I got all you know, these. People say the SNES version is better music. I think I do think the um please the was it PS1 PC version has the best boss intros of all time. Which I should have packed here because they are amazing. The the PlayStation and Saturn version still have the same intros. Uh -huh. And the Japanese <laughs> X3 has the best Mega Man intro music and any music out of any game I've ever played. Really? X3 X4, honestly this is probably my favorite one. Yeah. It is so good. Want to play it. Next five. Good, but not as good. I'll skip to X6 because no, it's no, just get that bad. <laughs> get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. <laughs> okay. I like X8. I know what it says. I love X8. Well, Bands of Pandemonium is still good. The, the boss themes are terrible, and some of the gimmicks are kind of annoying, but I think this is a great game overall. And it really, huh? Oh, you can play as the three operator girls, which is really cool too. Yeah. The best 3D game out there. It actually makes Axel cool because he's not cool in this game. He's, mm -hmm. he's, no. he's a whiny little bitch. He's a whiny little bitch. <laughs> um, and, oh, and Command Mission is weird. Yeah, it is a weird. It is one weird game. I've, I've beaten it, and it, I still say it's weird. It's not bad, but it's strange. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it's an RPG. Um, for some reason, Axel gets new stuff from bosses, but X doesn't. What? Um, well. Zero is really amazing in the game, though, and it has four new characters. Massimo is like, your heavy hitter. Marino, who's the fast girl. They're stereotypes. RPG stereotypes. Yep. But you think that's um, weird? I mean... Cinnamon, Cinnamon, who's like the greatest white mage of all time. Yep. <laughs> Unfortunately, she can't attack with crap. On um, who am I missing? He did bite her. Spider, who is an asshole. <laughs> That's why you love him. Mm. 